So hey, what's up everybody? Coach Evans here. You're tuned into Abundant Relationships and I want to go ahead and just mention this right now. Uh, by the title of this video, I should probably be more personal than wearing uh, glasses right now, but the sunlight is pretty harsh at this time and for the sake of my eyes, I'm going to keep them on for the video. And before we get started on this video, uh, I want to ask any of you guys who find these videos informative, if you find value in them, if you find them funny sometimes, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, uh, share these videos because you never know who might find these videos of value at whatever point in their lives they're in right now. And go ahead and click the notification button so that every time I upload a video, you will be one of the first people to get notified that something new and awesome is up and you can go ahead and watch them. So, and the topic of today's video is how to get women in bed with you in the shortest amount of time possible, uh, favorably during the first date. And I've talked to so many people when it comes to, especially women in this case, how many times does she have to go out with the man before she allows herself to have sex? And the average answer I've gotten from that question is three times and men also tend to have the same answer where it takes them up to three dates for them to be able to get intimate with the woman and of course being very stubborn i decided to go ahead and ask them why does it take you three times for you to feel it's okay to open up to that particular person uh, sexually and the answer from women because men to be honest don't really have any choice but to wait until when uh, she allows them to the answer that I've gotten from women is that by the third date, that's when they feel comfortable being around a man to the point where they throw away all their inhibitions that they have around sex. So with that answer, something clicked in my mind. We already know what a woman needs in order for her to get and allow herself to have sex with you. Uh, and we also know that we have an average amount of time, which is three times as far as going out. So we'll take what we already know that it takes a woman to be very comfortable with you to a point where she doesn't have any inhibitions uh, for her to have sex with you and shrink what we already know as average three dates for her to have sex with you to one date. And the one tool that has never failed me is being playful during that date. And what do I mean by that? I don't mean for you to go out there and be a child. Absolutely not. What I'm trying to say here is that in order for you to have sex with a woman, she has to be very comfortable around you. There's nothing holding her back from connecting with you sexually. So what I do is use playfulness. Make sure that everything you do in a date doesn't just involve you going to a very fancy restaurant and then taking her home. Uh, involve some activities in between. I would say uh, there's things like miniature golf. How can you make miniature golf more playful to a point where she ends up wanting to go home with you? Uh, not you persuading her, but her wanting to go home with you because she's so turned on and she can't wait to have you inside of her. I know that was very direct. So the way that you can be playful is, miniature golf is a very nice, very involving, very active game that you two can play, but make that a little bit more enticing. Why don't you create a scenario of, uh, I would say, truth or dare kind of game. Whoever gets to sink the golf ball gets to ask the other person, truth or dare. Now, let's say if you the man sinks that ball in there you can ask her anything and that should be part of the rules that there is no question that cannot be asked and i remember going out on one date with a woman and we were playing pool table and i brought in this concept of truth or dare in the pool table game and you can do this with any game that involves one person winning another person losing in any scenario okay and i want to say something here it's not about who wins who loses don't let your ego take away the uh, fun, the experience that you can have with her by trying to uh, be the type of person that always wants to win. There's nothing wrong if that's what ends up happening, but the main point here is that through this game, through this truth or dare, she actually reveals things to you that will allow her to be extra comfortable just being around you. I will ask women things that will be very, very bold. Let's say I sink a ball and it's a miniature golf. Let's take that. You're playing miniature golf and you end up sinking the ball. You can ask her, truth or dare? If she goes ahead and says truth, I will go ahead and ask any bold question that you can think of. Um, where's the craziest place outside of your bed that you have ever had sex in? Now, some women will say it was a rooftop. She could go ahead and tell you that it was somewhere at a park. Uh, the main idea of this particular scenario is allowing her to open up those uh, 
topics that she cannot be talked about, things that she would not discuss them with anybody else. And she's being vulnerable and opening up to you at that point. And during that interaction, she will feel like she's connecting with you a whole lot more. Like I can tell you, I remember a scenario that I went out with this beautiful woman that was very, very into me. And I knew that from the get go. We went out for dinner and they happened to have a pool table around there. So we decided to play a pool table game and I went ahead and made that interesting by proposing truth or dare pool table. And the first time I sank the ball, I went ahead and asked her, truth or dare? She decided to go with truth. And I went ahead and asked her, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate yourself as a kisser? She very uh, bustingly went ahead and said, I'll rate myself as a 9.5. And I was like, hmm, interesting. I remember that. We went ahead and went playing. The second time I sunk the ball, I looked her in the eyes and said, you said you're a 9.5. That's how you rate yourself. I dare you to go and prove that because she had chosen dare. So it's things like that. You take that responsibility away from the woman where she feels like, oh, this is a very fun environment. I'm enjoying myself. It's a truth or dare game. I have to play this. And she actually is the one coming to you and kissing you without feeling any inhibitions around that particular environment that you two are in. If the woman is shy and she can't do some of these dares or truth in public, so you guys might be taking a walk at a park and for some reason maybe you're holding hands or anything like that or just sitting watching the sunset, uh, you can say, you know what, let's make this more interesting. Let's play Thumb Wars. And not just any Thumb Wars, truth or dare Thumb Wars, you know? That's very intimate, you two are very close, there's probably not that many people around you. So even if a girl is not an extrovert or she feels shy in a public place, in that particular setting, she's going to be comfortable and she's going to go ahead and play these games. So make sure when you go on dates, you don't just take a woman from her place to the restaurant and then back to her place. Uh, go ahead and go to a billiard. Go ahead and play miniature golf around there after you've grabbed some to eat. During those interactions, she will get turned on so much because I remember the women that I went out with and we ended up incorporating these games in our date. Literally, the very night we went out on those first dates, we ended up going back to either her place or my place. And again, I'll let your mind complete the picture of what ended up happening there. So uh, make things interesting. Don't be afraid to be very playful. Don't be afraid to introduce these games that are very harmless, that will bring you two together. There will be a whole lot of fun. And at the end of the day, you're going to reduce that amount, which is normally three dates, that it takes an average guy to just one date for you to get in bed with her and connect with her sexually. So that's what I have for you guys in today's video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. That means a lot to me. Click that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that might find these videos informative or of value, go ahead and share them with them. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one.